Good morning. It's Chris from Clearly Crafted and Decoupage Paint and Paper Crafting. I wanted to start a new video series showing a different kind of background that I created on two of my other pieces that have gotten a lot of questions about what I did because it was a combination of things. Um, so I'm going to start with this first video just showing and get a lot of questions about how to even apply mulberry paper. So I'm going back to the very beginning. This is just a dollar store. Now it's a dollar twenty-five store. Glass votive that I cleaned with alcohol. Now this one I didn't put anything on the glass. A lot of times you'll see I'll put either Mod Podge with glitter in it or I'll put iridescent medium on it. So this I decided I was going to go plain glass so I can show you what you can do. So you don't have to put anything on the glass. I just a lot of times like to because then you can see it on the inside but not a big deal. So clean the glass with alcohol. So you wanna make sure that there's nothing oily on it. Um, and then I'm using Satin Mod Podge. And then I have white mulberry paper. So you can see this is the way it looks. I get the sheets like this. I like this because I like it with the edge. Um, and then I tear it and I keep all of my little edge pieces um, because they're nice to just build up your edge and you have a nice straight line. Makes it easy. Work smarter, not harder. Um, you can always just cut a straight edge too. But And then I take all my middle pieces um, so that they go around in the middle. I'm just gonna show you how I complete this. And everything was put on. I do the top edge first, and then I do the bottom edge, um, and then I start in the middle. So you'll see here, this is where I haven't done it yet. Looks kind of weird. You can definitely see through this. This is gonna be um, a more translucent one. So that's why I wanted to use this for um, this extra technique, which ends up putting paint with the mulberry paper and it gives it a lace effect. I really like it. And actually uh, something I found by accident. Um, so it was kind of like a mess up that became something fun. So, and you can see this is it drying. You might be like, ooh, that looks ugly. It really looks neat when it's done and it's dry. So what I'm gonna continue doing is just applying pieces of mulberry paper. It's just very random. I look at different shapes. Where do I want different shapes? I'm gonna put that one there and I just wanna make sure it's overlapping on all sides so that it's, you know, you don't wanna have any of the openings. Um, and then I always go back and I check. And this is, I mean, I do a thin coat, not horribly thick, not horribly thin. Um, this is a bigger piece, so I'm gonna put that there. That'll kind of cover. And you just wanna do Mod Podge on top or whatever PVA glue you use or your homemade or whatever. I like Mod Podge. I tend to use the satin or the flat. They tend to be my two, two favorites. Stuff sticks together. This um, mulberry paper does not have a really fuzzy side. Sometimes you'll get it where it's fuzzy on one side. Um, I really don't like when my paper's that way. You get a lot of fibers and a lot of pulling and it, it gets messy. I don't like that. Um, if I have ordered a paper that is like that, I tend to not order from that company again. Um, those are things like I've said many times, like everyone's like, oh, where do you get your supplies? Well, I'll tell you where I get my supplies, but you may not, you might have different things that you like or don't like than I do. Um, so that's why most of my white mulberry paper. I do get from mulberry paper and more. I recently did buy a pack on, and look, there's a little open hole there, so I'm just going to tear that and cover that up. I did buy a pack from eBay that was labeled as white, and it annoyed me because as I look at it, I have it here. It actually is more off-white. You can see that's white, what's there, and then this is off-white. So they really get you. Everybody's idea of white is a little different. Um, and that can be annoying, especially if you're really looking for a, a white background. 
because our napkins tend to be either white or they're cream colored um, and you'll get an edge that you then have to either blend or do something with if they don't match up. So I am going to work on finishing this and you can see there's, see it's dried and there's a little hole right there. So I definitely, I'm gonna take a little piece and it's easy enough, you just tear off a little piece. Nothing exciting. I'm gonna go and, now I can't remember where the hole was, there it is. Um, I'm just gonna layer it. And you can layer, I've actually done it where it turns out that it's too light for what I wanted and I put a second layer of mulberry paper on. Um, if I really think it's gonna be too translucent for what I want. You have to realize you have to build up a, a, enough of a base that if you're going to put a napkin on top, that it's going to show up. So that's the thing that you have to look at. Um, these translucent backgrounds are great, but then if your napkin design, if you're using napkin, now if I'm using rice paper, you know, rice paper is gonna show up, but then I'm gonna have a very defined edge. And that's how I came up with this way of doing this anyway, it was because I had too much of a defined edge with uh, rice paper over mulberry paper. And that's when I went back and I sponged on some chalk paint. And it really came out neat. See, this is gonna be a little thicker there. So that's why a lot of people use paint. You know, if you're using white chalk paint, um, everything stands out. You can definitely see. So working with the papers as a background can be a little trickier. I go back and forth with the painted backgrounds. I like it on my tile and stuff. I just, I'm, I'm not sure I really like it as much on glass. Every once in a while I'll trial it and I'm just like, eh, I still like my paper backgrounds better. So here's a nice big piece. We're gonna throw that over there. And that should finish this off. And now I'm just gonna See, I'm going to spin it around and as it's drying you'll be able to see the holes more. And I know that looks heavily built up there but it will dry just like the rest of this does. All right. I don't really see any holes so what I'm going to do is actually I am going to now coat this whole thing once I get to this point because sometimes you'll still get some like fuzzies that are sticking out if you haven't covered it completely. So this is where I go over the whole thing with Mod Podge. Sorry, I think you can probably hear the dog whining at the door. I have a craft buddy who, he likes to come in with me periodically and I had closed the door. <laughs> Moose lays on the bed with me. So I'm gonna go through, even where this is still wet, because this will all dry. Um, I'm going to cover this whole thing because I want this to become like one piece. So that's what I'm looking for. This will become a solid background then, if that makes sense. So I'm going to cover this whole sucker up. Even where it's still wet here, it'll be fine. There have been times too where I come back and I'm like, ah, you know what, I want another one more coat of Mod Podge on that base um, to really keep from having any flyaways. And, and sorry, I don't mean to bore you. I try and do these short videos so you're not sitting here just watching me. Yep, there we are. And that's why I'm doing a small votive because these lar larger pieces, I have two larger pieces that I'm getting ready to work on. My husband says, jokes that I have a short attention span. That's why I don't do furniture. I love the way it looks on furniture, but for me, that just takes too long. I like to do a project, finish it, and move on to the next thing that's caught my eye. Um, so this is completely covered now. You can see how it looks more even. Um, and then I am going to let it dry um, and it's just going to sit and dry. I'm actually going to probably put it on my drying stand. And then we'll be back for the next part of it. All right. Happy crafting.